Years ago, a never-before-seen paradox effect haunted the Yashas Massif. The disappearances of numerous Academy staff members were followed by the discovery of strange floating orbs. Something terrible had happened, but no one knew what it might mean. A method to reverse the paradox was never found, and with the passing of the years, the Crimson Spheres simply became another part of the scenery. Travelers of the Timeline, can you hear me? No, it's her! Yule! Yes, I am Padrasu Yule, servant of the Goddess, witness to the Timeline. I have committed an unforgivable crime, and now I must pay the price for my sins. Many years ago, Evil, in the form of a merciless beast, materialized in the city of Padra. It was no ordinary creature, but one that devoured time instead of prey. In order to free our city of the menace, I had no choice but to banish it into the void beyond. There was peace once again in Padra. However, this created a distortion in time that continued to grow. As it spread, it began to swallow innocent victims, one by one. When they were taken, all that remained were crimson orbs. Orbs that contained their grief and anguish. Each one a silent reproach, reminding me of the terrible mistake that I had made. But look what is happening. The creature cannot be imprisoned for eternity. It is trying to break free to once again feed on time. I cannot banish it now. Not like I did all those centuries ago. Travelers of time, listen to me. The terrible beast must be defeated. sort this out. So one of the Yules from long ago caused a distortion in time to banish the monster and save the city. But then that caused another distortion. Right. And that created a paradox, which is what we're facing now. Yule knew what the future was going to bring when she made her choice. She knew she was going to cause pain and suffering for a lot of people. But she also knew that was her only choice. Her anguish remains in these ruins in the form of a ruby of grief. That's awful. Noel, we have to stop her suffering. Let's show her that she did the right thing. If we defeat the monster, we should be able to set her free.
do this. Come <laughs> on. 
We did it. I hope we were able to end her suffering. I'm sure we did. In an effort to save the people of the city, Yule broke her oath and tampered with time. This caused a disturbance in the timeline which led to the creation of a paradox. And the death of many innocent people. I have to wonder, did Yule make the right choice? Was there even a right choice to make? If she had done nothing, people would have died. But the city that Yule so desperately hoped to save was eventually destroyed. No matter what her decision, either choice would have eventually led to the death of the people of Padra. I don't have the ability to see into the future like she does, and I'm thankful for that. If we knew the outcome of all our actions, wouldn't we just give up? What would be the point of trying? But I can't see what's going to happen. I don't have the power to know what tomorrow may bring. And that's why we can still hope and believe in the future.